Greetings everyone and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition with me Kemzit. We're gonna resume where we have left off in Harald Hadrada's custom campaign upon Shimakaze's request in Mission 5, uh, Five's Hymns Kring La. Now, was a collection of old Norse king sagas mean what I said Aturna's a saying and later history or tale of legendary Nordic kings, which is written in Old Norse by Icelandic historian Snorri Sturluson. The recording started from the Yingling dynasty of Sweden to the Norwegian king Magnus V, Erlingsson, including Norwegian king of Olaf Haraldsson and Harald Hardrada. At his service ended in Byzantine Empire and a return to Kievan Rus, Harald successfully married Elisiv, the princess of Kievan Rus, with a fully trusted of Yaroslav, the wise who was surprised by Harald, uh, Harald's achievements under the Byzantine rule. However, no time for Harald to enjoy what he had currently. He decided to leave and sa sail to Scandinavia. Something was waiting for him. Let's see. Do you remember when I told you before that the day of Harald Hadrada, it was getting closer and closer? Almost at hand for Harald now. With the great glory of his part participations in several large-scale battles of the Byzantine em uh, Empire, as well as the countless wealth and honor gained from ten years of fighting in the Mediterranean, Harald considered himself fully qualified to marry Grand Prince Yaroslav's daughter and to clear the shame of his refusal to marry him all, all those years ago. And it was no doubt true gold, true already gold, silver cups, and coins and jewels which Harald acquired during the Mediterranean campaign were constantly transported to Kievan Rus and kept under the custody of the Grand Prince Yaroslav in order to give him a proof. Compared to the first time we came to Kievan Rus and meet Yaroslav, this time he prepared a grand feast and personally welcomed us at the gates of Harald's return. Harald had successfully already proven to the Yaroslav that the poor boy had become a legendary figure of wealth and glory. At the banquet, Yaroslav formally betrothed his daughter Elisiv to Harald because the Grand Prince not only was the son in law in incredible wealth but also thought that Harald, who was already 30 years old and would achieve much more great success in the future, was a good deal to form a potential ally in Scandinavia through marriage. I've watched Harald whole life, and I am now. Uh, I'm now. Uh, now I am one of the few of old cronies who still survive from the beginning of the statue and respect to the wealth of the glory of war, and the favor and blessings of the gods. To now reaping the trust of the Grand Duke, to the love of his daughter. At this moment, Harald only cr a crown is missing to the final step in return to Norway to regain the throne, young man. Now you understand it. Success is to pay a corresponding price in exchange for the success of Viking. Of course, Harald's story isn't over. I'll tell you more about Harald after this cup of drinks. There are a few young people like you who have such patience and are willing to listen to the stories of us old warriors these days. Not long after our return in Kievan Rus, Harald told us that, be, uh, that he will be leave soon here and back to Norway. Grand Prince Yaroslav was also supportive of Harald's decision and we all knew that only wealth, gold and honor could satisfy him. Perhaps because Harald heard that Knut's son, Harald Knut, had reached an agreement with us, with Harald's nephew Magnus Olofsson. Oh, wow, that's too quick. To decide, to decades have passed in flash uh, and our homeland has changed dramatically. I still remember that thrilling naval battle in another expedition in Denmark by Harald. While we were sailing on the ocean, the constant wind, winter wind swept through our army, dried the blood of surface and stimulated our Viking fanatism for war again. <laughs> exactly. Now let's go. Now there is nothing more to celebrate than returning to Norway, but I feel unsatisfied that Magnus took the throne and, uh, and when I was not in Norway, I must meet Anut for assistance to retake the throne I deserve. Anut Jakob. It seems special guest is coming in my house. Certainly, and you shall bow, dude. Harald must survive before he retakes the throne of throne. Okay, there we go, we are. 
I recognize your banner of your ship on the sea, Harold. I heard that you have collected much gold and honor when you fought in the Mediterranean Sea. I thought you would return on day, uh, f certainly for something you missed. Absolutely, I must retake my deserved throne of Norway. So unsatisfied, uh, so unsatisfied, I'm the, uh, I'm. The and that Magnus seized it. I may need your assistance a little enough. I assume you would certainly return one day for a Norwegian crown after you escaped from defeat with your brother Olaf. Come, Harald. Soon you will obtain what you deserve on this land. <laughs> Okay, um, these men, uh, uh, these men are, uh, can assist you for the throne you want. I expect news about your enthronement in no way soon to be known. 500 food, wood, gold. Okay, so what do we have to do? Heart must survive before retaking the throne. Norwegian monasteries must not be destroyed. Destroy the town center in Norway. Force uh, Magnus to transfer the throne to Harald. Do not kill Magnus. Okay, hints. Harald had rather can support a population limit of 240 once he retake the Norwegian throne. The service of the Byzantine is ended. Harald cannot train Vringing Guard in castle anymore. Do not attempt to attack the Denmark uh, attack Denmark before Harald retakes the throne of Norway. It's not a wise decision. Harald no needs to destroy defensive buildings or kill all soldiers would stop his decision. All throne transfers uh, transferred, all Norwegians will follow Harald's command. Vikings could only construct a long boat to fight on the sea. Though Swedish King Arnold uh, Jacob will aid Harald, he will support the Danish as well, to conquer Denmark with a less challenge. Cutting off Swedish supplies may be objective for Harald in priority. Scouts, Harald now brings gold and trust trustful men aboarding on the ship return to Scandinavia for the Norwegian throne. Because Magnus enthronement aunt Knut, the great ruler of, of Norway, Harald cannot ac uh, accept Magnus as the Norwegian king. It is not suitable than him to rule this country. Sweden is under uh, Jacob's rule. He had supported Magnus and some Danish to fought against Knut the Great. Now he's also supporting Sweden and the next competitive success of Denmark. Magnus the Good is the king of both countries, Denmark and Norway. However, his throne is in in Denmark, keeping being challenged by Sweden, and Norwegian one is soon to be challenged by Harald. Though Magnus the Good rules Denmark, majority of the inhabitants would not like to support him, but Sweden instead. So we have to destroy this. Uh, Norwegian Muslim must not be destroyed. The third town sent in Norway. Okay, we shall do that then. Too bad that we cannot create a Venerian god because they were strong. I'm telling you. They were overbearing. You must be hurled. I heard about you. Uh, uh, I heard about. We are willing to join you once you come. Hmm. <laughs> no ways ahead, I must teach my nephew Magnus a lesson that who will be more suitable to rule Norway. Outilagi, 
Ja, ja. Hodor. Rada. Allt i lagi. Ja. Villek. I have thumbs uh, skill fear. Okay. Both or. Ruin till bardaga. I heard about that Harald brought plenty of gold from Kieran Roots. I expect him does not bring much more war flame to the country anymore. He shall, you bastard. He shall take back the throne that he deserves. Stop! If you are thirsty for the throne, you will have it as long as you spare the wealth in half for saving Norway and preventing wars to be brought into this country. Okay. Click the Magnus. Okay. Of course, I will respect anyone sensitive who would like to cooperate with me. Okay, wonderful. Uh, well, let's just make one here. Win. Ah, blast, I cannot do anything. Uh, so many died during the conquest of Denmark. However, the throne in Denmark uh, did not let uh, be left for Harald, but the Danish nobles. So, can the Danish throne be left to the scum nobleman? What is an unacceptable uh, and stupid decision Magnus did. This will only bring much more war to flame. Though the situation cannot be controlled, I must conquer Denmark and seize the throne. Okay. Where's my dude? There he is. Ah, blessed pirates. Oh, 
Alti lagi. Vilek. Oh, you bastards! They murdered our king! Alti lagi! Alti lagi! How, although you have taken over the Norwegian. Okay, wait, hold on. That's so many messages, damn it. Okay, we must go to. Although I know that assists me the Norway crown, he supports a little bit in Denmark as we, we cannot just do nothing but dive into this. Otherwise, the conquest in Denmark will become more challenging. We must go to the Swedish supply to Denmark as soon as possible, or we will face more men in battle. If we do not destroy the shipyards but Anod's castle, we cannot. Uh, we can force the Swedish tribute uh, instead. This would be an advantage for the Norwegian. Uh, Lord Harald is wounded again. Okay. Harald, although you have taken over the Norwegian throne from Magnus, I still smell your ambition of the Danish crown. I recommend you do not do anything stupid. Uh, and prior appointment had confirmed that I will be the next Danish king. Well, screw you, my dude. Timber Hoch Vandi Nama Mather Queen Nama Mather Queen Radida Bardaga Queen Radida, ja, ja, This is not going to work like this. I need to send my villages that way. Timber Hoch Vandi. 
Queen. Bothos. Nam 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 mother. Ja. Timber nam mother. Ja. Nam mother. Nam mother. Hoor de lagi. Ho. Kushash mi timber hochwandi. Kushash mi ther. Ho. Kushash mi ther. Queen. Timber hochwandi. Kushash mi ther. Right. I have a lot of gold. That's good. I can I advance to the next age? Maybe? Would be nice. Guys, I need more goods. If I can destroy that docks, I'll be fine. Ja. I die already, you bastard. Stop killing my men. Let's make a thingy here and age up. You don't have much time left, come on. Oh no. Then it's worse after I know of no mess of our yeah, okay, good, 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 good. Will 
Oh shit, I don't have much time. Come on. Oh, bullshit. Well, whatever. We're gonna slaughter them. That is really support me. I cannot let them strength without. Okay, right, right. They're done. Oh, blast. Did I see a pirate thingy here? Yeah. Oh, 
Ah, bless, I cannot shoot down below. I don't know. Wait, I should have been. Why is the target so close? Don't I have murder holes? Who's this bull? Why aren't we able to make some people there? Come on! Oh, 
I'll have just deleted them because I need it to do so. This Danish boy is no match for being the king of Denmark. Cannot wait to cut the pillars of that chain. Okay. Oh bless, they're attacking me from behind! I just noticed. You bastards. I'll make more trebuchets. Oh come on. Oh god, no, of course. Where's my priest? Is he still here? No, he's not. I cannot reach that thing here. Oh 
Holy shit. No, come on! Why must you attack me? Why? You little brat. Oh, there was my priest, of course. Screw you, dude. Oh yeah, by the way, we have not upgraded this. Wow. Just wow. Nice, he's dead, the bastard. He killed my people here. Oh well, whatever, we don't need him. Fuck's sake. Oh man, this bullshittery. I need to reestablish my economy again. For God's sake, I don't really wanna because I've done that. Like, come on, surrender already. They killed even all my villagers here. Ah, just screw this for God's sake. Ugh. Kinda wanna restart over or not do anything. Nama matter. Win. Ho, Alti Lagi, Kushash Mitha, Wait, 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 Mitha. I 
I need to make a castle there. I have no choice. Move here. Bodo, Come on, boys. Holy damn. That was something. How does one capture this one here? How? You can stay here. All I care. Who shash me, sir? Who shash me, sir? Ya, Puin Red Villa. Who shash me, sir? Go away, dude. Nice, finally. Come on!
the bastard. I've got no choice, I need to retreat. Go away, dude. I don't know what Helm's Kragla is, but let's just see. That's another one. Nice. I destroyed a town here. Now, oh, Blaster, we're being attacked from the other side, too. For God's sake.
Looking at a sword at one Who? What a red. Nama matter. Actually, now let's just retreat. Now we use. <clears throat> there, little thing is nearly destroyed. Good. Now, boom. Get away, dudes. Oh fuck! Run! Okay, that's a little bit difficult. There's no more resources around. Guys, stop killing my people. Now let them shoot there, whatever. I mean, at least we have destroyed most of the men now here. Go away, you little pest. Let's have some more fishing ships, could help us. Kill them, I'm done with you guys. Bye bye. Oh, 
As possible too, then. Oh, he died. Good. Boom! Now we're done. No more castle to do, and we're done. Finally. Maximal states uh, that I will succeed Danish run. If you're not quite satisfied with this, I will show no respect in response. Well, screw you, your economy is dead and I will destroy most of the people. Oh god, and there are some lot of troops here. New relics everywhere, and not in this one, but man. Oh god, leave me alone! Yeah. 
डन Wonderful. Yeah, oh, lots of idle villagers could go work here then. Who's a smither? Now we're done, finally. Man, this was difficult. But I also made lots of uh, wrong moves. Their navy is down, so it seems too AI with lots of resources and all that fought us, but okay. Done for. Let the Danish little boy uh, feel fear about this throne soon. He will submit to my rule. Indeed. Anyway, that good Magnus I under suppression from our army was forced to agree to share half of the throne with their Harald Harald uh, Harald 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 to also disrupt half of the wealth to Magnus in exchange. This means not only less enemies Magnus would encounter, but also less risk of the country being torn apart. Harald and Magnus to then begin a brief period of co-rule, both became king of no way to rule the country. Harald's return deprived Oda's favour from Magnus I becomes Magnus soon died in the battle with the Danes, but what Harald never expected was that Magnus III had last this his last words on deathbed. My kingdom will be divided with Harald getting to the Norwegian throne and Sven being the Danish king. Harald was naturally extremely angry at the sudden news. He had expected to become king of Denmark and Norway. As a matter of course, after the death of Magnus, now Harald was put together by Magnus, then Svein had succeeded the throne of Denmark. The only way for Harald to establish an empire like what Knut did the Northern Sea Empire by conquering Denmark and seize the throne from Svein. It was the only way to make himself at peace and satisfied with what he deserved. Harald could not wait to set sail since then. On such a cold sea, our longboat was mostly dashed by the waves swaying. We seemed to feel the wrath of the golden god Odin and Thor, but Harald stood firm on the bow, let the storm continue to relentlessly beat his face, his stiff right hand clutching the battle axe, and the eyes never left the snow-caped Danish coast. You must have thought that Harald had was successful being crowned king of Denmark. Unfortunately, it is absolutely uh, absolutely wrong. This campaign lasted for over ten years, and we still would not conquer Denmark. However, the, we kept raiding its coast fortifications. We paid a heavy price for, to, for the fight against the Danes. At the time, I even felt a little bit tired and almost lost for my fanaticism of fighting, as well as other cronies of Harald. Exactly, well, we've destroyed it, but I'm still surprised that these longboats really didn't much attack too much and that there was no um, base of operations of theirs which we could have taken down so they would not raid because they did raid us once, which didn't happen. And I was surprised that the Kingdom of Denmark was that strong f against me and they didn't show much force, sure, a little bit, but not too much. And Sweden didn't do much either, they attacked with a few troops as well, and I was really pissed off that I wasn't able to do it in time, even though I was sure that I still had some little time left, but whatever. I'm sure you guys can do it a lot better as well, same could I, but uh, we finished it like this way, so um, we're gonna continue on with the campaign as soon as possible. 
in mission six the kiss of the valkyria so for now this is it i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and wish to support it do you want to recommend something we're going to get together as possible as well just write down comments box below or join my discord server so we can have a chit chat about it till then i shall see you guys later.